As I listen to some of the comments about the fighting in Gaza, I am just amazed. Um, in my opinion, the Israeli response there has been incredibly restrained, which, which is really the only thing they're doing wrong. Over the last three years, these terrorists have fired about 7,000 rockets into Israel, and the Israelis, for the most part, have just taken it because they realize the political consequences of fighting back. Hamas terrorists routinely hide among civilians and position themselves near hospitals and schools so that when Israel finally starts to shoot back, they'll be forced to kill innocent people. And of course, Hamas supporters are eager to take videos of the dead children and plenty of time to make the evening news on CNN. Look, when Hamas fires rockets, they usually deliberately aim them at civilian areas. When Israel fires back, they only shoot as best they can at military targets. For God's sakes, folks, the Israelis often phone ahead to the people in the building before they launch a missile to give everybody a chance to get away. The notion that Israel is the aggressor here is pure insanity. This is a case of long overdue self-defense. Look, here's how it works, folks. When you attack a country, you need to expect that they just might fight back. Can you imagine what would happen if you started firing rockets into, uh, say, Russia or Iran? Do you have the slightest doubt that they would immediately send soldiers and all kinds of planes and missiles to blow you to bits? And you think they would remember to uh, give you a courtesy call to let you know they were coming, like Israel does? Over the years, the Arab states have repeatedly launched military attacks against Israel. In every case, they were the aggressor, they outnumbered Israel by roughly 8 to 1, and their publicly stated intention was to totally destroy Israel. But they couldn't do it, even back when the Soviet Union was supplying them with all the planes and missiles they could ever need. These people are the modern-day equivalent to Adolf Hitler. They thrive on hate and disinformation. They are genocidal killers, and their religion teaches them to murder anyone who doesn't believe as they do, including members of their own religion. Israel is far from perfect, folks, but compared to these terrorists, they are absolute saints. Look, it's been 60 years since the British turned over that region to the United Nations, who then voted by a two-to-one majority to create Israel as a Jewish state. Maybe they should, or maybe they shouldn't have done that, but they did. And from day one, the entire country was operated under a constitution that expressly guarantees total freedom of religion for Christians, Muslims, and everyone else. If Israel's Muslim neighbors would ever let go of the hate and bigotry and stop trying to murder them, Israel and Jerusalem could be totally open and accessible to everyone and to all religions. But that's never going to happen as long as these bloodthirsty terrorists continue to function and we continue to sympathize with them. These are killers who deliberately target innocent people and try to entice their enemies to kill more innocent people just so they can sway public opinion. Whether they succeed or not is highly dependent on how stupid and gullible we are.